situation that we were in before, uh, where we don't have the industry uh, to get out there and manage the force like we need to. Uh, obviously, the federal government can't do it alone. These partnerships are important. And, and uh, so that's that's what this is about, to get back uh, to Washington with more information on how we can make sure what uh, tools uh, we can give the Forest Service and others. We worked on, uh, obviously, the authorization of the stewardship uh, process, and uh, we have that, that uh, in law now with the farm bill and, and uh, pill funded at least for another <laughs> another year and uh, some of the issues I know you're concerned about but that's why we're here and uh, Martin you want to say something? Yeah. I would just say that I think stewardship contracts and pill were two really good examples of where um, most people from the eastern half of the U.S. didn't know what the heck we were talking about but everybody in the inner mountain west kind of pulled together uh, and got that done and uh, certainly Senator Flake deserves credit for getting out in front on uh, trying to bring stewardship contracts, not only reauthorize them, but improve them so that we can uh, continue to, uh, to do a good job uh, maintaining the industry that's been built up here. And I think um, we're going to continue to look for those places where we can work together uh, to get these things done. And, and that, that, was a, that was a good win, and hopefully we can build on that uh, and not get stuck in sort of the the rights of the past. Yes, sir. Thank you for stopping in. Um, the, uh, I, I congratulate you. I agree that stewardship is absolutely critical to maintain what infrastructure we do have, but I think you're well aware that it's far short of what we need to deal with the size of the force issues that we have. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, as I travel the area, I find that uh, some of the major obstacles are an area I'd like to understand your position on and whether you can start moving towards dealing with the rewrite of the Endangered Species Act and the equal access to justice issues, which have put us in such a subordinate condition that we can't deal with the environmentalists in this area uh, and we cannot move forward. So I'm asking you to take leadership in those issues to get the rewrite so that the impacted areas associated economic area impacts are, are, are devastating these core areas in rural areas. Well, I say there it's a, we have, we've got to find a way to move forward more quickly on the NEPA process uh, to get these areas ready mm -hmm. uh, for industry, and we're working on that. Uh, obviously, there's been uh, pretty good collaboration uh, with environmental groups and others to, to move forward. There needs to be more of that, and in some areas, uh, uh, we, we're going to need to address uh, you know, what the federal government's role is. Uh, but, uh, but the bottom line is, uh, we need, when you have public lands, uh, whether it's BLM lands or Forest Service lands or whatever else, there's going to need to be collaboration. Uh, you know, if 
force the federal government is going to need to leverage its resources with private industry. And uh, so we're we're trying to give the tools necessary. One thing that we didn't get as part of the reauthorization, the stewardship process, was uh, dealing with cancellation sealants to make it easier uh, for federal government to use that leverage uh, with private industry. So we'll continue to work on those areas where we can get this industry to move forward. Good. And, and one of the challenges, too, is just the, the fact that we're going to have, uh, you know, when we do have these big fires, be it uh, Wallow or uh, Wetwater Baldy, then that impacts all the planning that had gone into thinning those areas, and we need to quickly be nimble enough and have enough in the pipeline to shift to the other supply. And, you know, we have our own ESA issues in New Mexico, uh, but I think there is a more collaborative, uh, at least my experience, Across the border is that even with our recent listing of the lesser prairie chicken, uh, we have been able to create a collaboration with industry ahead of time uh, that has exposed New Mexico far less than some of the other states that, that didn't get ahead of the curve. And we're going to try to build on that uh, on that, that progress. Okay, just a quick follow-up. Uh, you're well aware of the Hastings study that took place last year uh, relative to the ESA and the issues associated with that. And it is not a equal grounds collaboration that's going on, so I hesitate to support collaboration until the, the playing field is more equalized. And there's some changes in the ESA, and the equal access suggests that, that do need to take place to equalize that playing field so collaboration can truly take place. But I agree, collaboration has to be there, so it needs to be equalized. Thanks. Yeah, maybe two minutes. Senator Flake, I, I just wanted to just thank you for your support in not only the Secure Arizona, the timber fees, the health funds. Our school districts are in Arizona, and I think across this country, are really struggling to be able to support the, the cost of delivering education and the cutbacks, especially the districts that are surrounded by these federal lands, are they don't have the, the source for other revenues. So, so I, I encourage you to continue to support for that. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I, I could not agree more. SRS and PILT are one of the the true uh, areas of bipartisanship on the Energy and Natural Resources Committee. And now that our former chair has moved over to finance, that's the uh, frankly that's the committee where everything gets paid for. Uh, so our hope is with the, the coalition that was built between Ron Wyden and Lisa Murkowski. Uh, that we can continue that with Senator Wyden now over at finance uh, and and maybe you know get something permanent in place instead of playing this year by year by year situation. Yeah, I have to say on the committee it's been a different environment over the past uh, uh, in this Congress 113th than it has been before and I think with Wyden moving on to finance it, it's still going to continue. It's, uh, it's a, that's a, a committee that and foreign relations where uh, uh, it's a lot more bipartisan, greatly. Yeah. Okay. Do either of you support unlimited access to standing deadwood for citizens to use for personal consumption as a, a heating material? I support planned access to deadwood. I mean, uh, travel management is going to be a big issue, and I'm, I'm a very passionate sportsman, and we need to ma maintain habitat security while at the same time making sure we can get uh, uh, fuels out of the forest that that make our, our forest healthier. Thank you, Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you.